What's up guys? I am here for the first installment of Miata Mondays. So this is a new series I'm gonna be doing where I'll do something to the Miata or something with the Miata every single Monday. So if you guys are, um, you know, regular followers of the channel, this will be the second video of the week. We'll still have the Friday uploads, which will usually be something different. Maybe every once in a while I'll have two videos of the Miata in case I don't have something else to put out on Friday. But for the most part, we're gonna have Miata videos every single Monday. The thing that we're gonna be focusing on today, these mirrors. This is the basic bracket. This is the gasket that goes um, onto the body of the car. This fits in here. And then this screws into the actual mirror mount. So these are gonna be going on my fenders. Kind of try and center them directly above the center of the wheel. I'm gonna go for kind of this look. I really like the look of fender mirrors. I've always liked them on most cars. That classic Japanese car aesthetic. So that's what I'm going for with this. I have a drill, I have bits. Um, I have these screws that actually screw this in. I have painter's tape where I'm gonna mask out exactly where each fender mirror is gonna be drilled in so that I have them um, symmetrical on both sides. Um, I'm just gonna build, drill pilot holes and then these will likely be larger than the pilot hole and they'll just kind of go through. So I'm wrapping my car, um, but I'm doing this before I wrap my car because I want to have the two pilot holes already drilled in and the fender mirrors mounted um, and I can take the fender mirrors off um, and then I'll wrap over this and just poke holes in the vinyl and then have that over there because I'm gonna be doing all of the bodywork on these fenders and the doors and the hood and the front bumper and all of that stuff um, next Saturday uh, with my buddy Alex and then um, we'll be doing wrap the following week and then revealing the car at the car community open house which will be for you guys after you're seeing this video the car community open house will be the following Saturday so if you guys are in the Northwest um, I highly recommend coming up I'm hosting a really big meet with RAS Automotive Engineering and the import guys um, along with LTMC Media and this car will be in kind of its final form for a while um, at that meet so instead of seeing it way later on YouTube you guys should just come check it out so um, yeah let's get to actually drilling into these fenders and putting these fender mirrors on all right so here's my makeshift um, kind of masking area this these are both drawn through these holes on this piece right here um, I'm just using masking tape to go over it so it doesn't fuck up my paint but um, but just you know keeps it smooth um, and then I just put these here just to have a basic frame of where that is so I'm actually gonna measure from here to here and from here to here so that I can do this exactly the same on the other side and then also uh, the distance between these two and then the distance from this one to the end of the fender so that I can have this distance be consistent um, I'm just gonna use this little uh, you know pink measuring tape thing uh, just because it'll bend with the curve of the of the fender I try to stay right on the fender line because if you look at the mounting plate it's about the same width as this actual bend so it should just sit right on there um, just about right so I'm gonna actually get to drilling and I will come back to you guys when I have this side done all right the two pilot holes are both uh, drilled into the fender so they are roughly three and three quarters inches from the top of the fender just with that um, measuring tape pulled down about um, about right there so I'm gonna actually measure from here to there when I actually put this on all right so it's not all the way tightened down but that's roughly where it's gonna be if you look in relation to the car I'll be taking that mirror off there will be two holes left there after I do that or maybe three I think there are three if I remember from taking the ones off my parts car um, but yeah, I'll take those off. We're going to do body work on Saturday and it's not playing to rain or anything. So I'm just going to run it with holes in the door for a while um, and just have these mirrors just because I'm too excited not to. But yeah, I think I like where this is. This looks really good. Um, I'm just going to take the tape off, actually mount this on here, uh, clean all of the, uh, you know, tape and stuff that was around this when I got it. So we'll, we'll put these on. We'll screw these onto the uh, actual mirror mount itself. Um, and then we'll screw this all the way down and we'll do the other side and try and mirror it as best we can. But I think I'm happy with how this is coming out. It looks really cool. All right, so this is side two. Uh, I estimated a little bit low with this tape when I initially put it on, but this is 23 and a half inches 
um, to here and then I went three and three quarters inches down on either side uh, that is basically that point and that point those are my two drilling points so I'm gonna drill those and then we'll mount both fender mirrors and then we'll take off the stock mirrors so there it is that is fender mirror number one all lined up I think it looks really good um, where it's gonna be a matter of taking these shitty fin uh, mirrors off but I can actually see fairly well out of it um, I tried getting in the car here I'll show you guys basically that view I'll try and get it as close as I can to me but I am looking through the um, the windshield which is gonna be a little bit of a bizarre change from this um, but honestly doesn't look too bad I can see kind of like you can see a little bit of the um, the other mirror right in there it's not a bad view um it's definitely less than these give me um but it's not bad i think um i think it's gonna get some take some getting used to but i actually really like it so it's gonna be a matter of taking these off these have a little clip at the bottom to get that uh, that little cover thing off. These are scratched to all hell, so I'm excited to take them off. This side, um, I didn't show this on the other side, so I will on this side. The masking tape actually helps it become a little bit cleaner of a hole um, when you actually do drill into it. So if you're scared of drilling into your fenders, just put masking tape over it. Um, it makes it a little bit cleaner. You can see all this is the residue that came out. But, um, this off, this is all bent. Um, but, bring this off at a 45 degree angle. It's a fairly clean hole. It's nothing no shards of metal sh coming up it does help that i'm drilling this direction and everything's kind of being pushed that way um but this comes right off no problem and they're fairly clean holes they don't look too bad they don't fuck up too much of the paint around them and it's got that rubber gasket on there so it's not going to look too bad honestly they look pretty good i'm pretty happy with them um i really like the angle that you're that they're at um they actually help with the car being really low um, I didn't have much visibility to begin with. So this hasn't really made that big of a difference. Um, but to take these off, um, basically this piece always gets stuck on here because this is all OEM. Um, I just took a key under this little piece here and just pop this right off. And then basically what you gotta do is um, just unscrew these two screws and it comes right out. Um, and then once you get it off, just clean it um, and it should be fairly smooth. All right, so the driver's side mirror is off, and oh my god, is there so much dirt here. There isn't actually an entire indentation around here, although we will have to do bodywork on that, but there are these three indentations that we'll have to fill in with Bondo, but there's a lot of dirt. I'll probably just try and clean that off the best I can. Um, we'll just take a microfiber and some water and just try and rub all of that off, um, and then we'll polish it when we polish the entire car. Um, but that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Um, I'm gonna go to the other side and then we'll clean it off and put it in the sunlight and see how it looks. They're on and finished. I'm very, very happy with how these turned out. Um, Bondo work will cover this and then wrap will cover the Bondo work. So ignore that for now. That's gonna be fixed in less than a week. Um, but for, for now, it's a whole different car. It looks totally different. It actually looks, I gotta admit, I actually kind of like the way it looks with the headlights down better. With the old mirrors, I like the headlight up look, but um, with the headlights down, it just looks a little more sleek and classic. I love the way that looks. I'm gonna go somewhere else and take better pictures of it um, so that you don't see all the oxidation and stuff that um, I still have yet to fix on this hood. Um, I can just polarize it, make it look a little better, a little bit better. But I love the way that looks. I think that's what Miata should have had from the beginning. It looks absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy with this. Um, these were 20 bucks, like $10 a mirror. They sold them separately. They were on Amazon Prime. I got them in two days, and they're absolutely fantastic. Um, very, very easy to drill into. This is a very thin fender, and. I wasn't too worried about drilling into the fenders, mainly because Miata fenders are super cheap and super common, so if I really messed them up in any big way, I could easily go get another one. Um, but I'm very happy with the way it came out. I'm, I'm loving how this car is coming together, even just the little things, like the lip made a really big difference, the coilovers and wheels made a really big difference, the hard top made the biggest difference, likely. Um, with the uh, roof spoiler.
but I really like the little things that I'm putting into this car. I'm really excited to show you guys the wrap that I'm actually going to be putting on it. Um, I am wrapping it myself uh, along with a few friends, so that should be a really fun, ex uh, you know, experience. So yeah, the the whole car is changing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more Miata Mondays um, because you will see the progression of this car as um, as the build goes on. Um, or as, at least the aesthetic build. We're not making it fast yet. We will eventually, but that'll be a little bit farther down the line. Um, for now, we're just doing aesthetic things. So yeah, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You'll see more little things. If you want to do things to, like this to your Miata, I recommend it. Looks kind of cool. It's really cheap, really easy to do. And um, I just really like the way the car looks. Wow. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It really helps me out. It helps me bring you guys more content every single, well, twice a week now. Um, so yeah, be looking forward to Miata Mondays and then the usual videos, 2 p.m. every Friday. So I will see you guys in the next video.